In this video, I'm going to show you how to mask out a clip to make it transparent and usable on top of other video layers. For example, we've got this clip right here, which is a video of a tree being panned to the left. And then underneath, we've got this video of drone footage of a city skyline. So what we're going to do is mask out this stuff right here so that the log is actually revealing the city beneath it. So I'm going to go to the first frame where I need to mask stuff out, which is this frame right here. I need to mask out this section. I'm going to just press B for the blade tool and make a cut there. Press A and then select this new clip that I've got. And then click on the color tab at the bottom here, which is fifth along. Now, first of all, I'm going to press Alt S to create a new node and then go to the power window. So you're gonna click the pen tool down here and to navigate in this window, what you're gonna do is use a scroll to zoom in and out and then hold the middle mouse button to drag it around. And then you're just gonna cut out everything that you want to keep in the shot. So I'm just gonna very roughly cut out this trunk like so and then zoom out to encompass everything else I wanna keep. Now, to be able to get rid of this part that we didn't uh, draw around, what you're gonna do is right click, add alpha output and drag this blue box to the alpha output. And there you can see that this bit has disappeared. Now, we want this to move gradually along the keyframes like so. We don't just want this to stay the same as it is because, you know, it's just not gonna move. So what we need to do is add the first frame, click the diamond next to corrector two and then move on these points ever so slightly. It might be corrector one for you, but no. Um, it probably will be if there isn't a corrector 2. But yeah, corrector 2, we're just going to create a keyframe by slightly moving one of these points and then we're just going to hit the right arrow and then just move all of these points to fit the new shape. And it's as easy as this, you're just going to do the exact same process for every single frame. And it's going to take a while but the end result will be worth it. So that's frame one, two, three, and then we're just gonna keep going. Uh, I think it'll just be easier to move the whole thing at this point because the shape of the trunk isn't moving much between frames, so it's just gonna you know, save a lot of time. And there we have it. We've just done all the keyframes. I'm just gonna add the alpha output, drag the square to the blue box. And as you can see, it's all masked out now. Lovely stuff. So if we go back to the edit tab, and this is what we have. Beautiful. It was pretty shabby because I didn't make it perfect. Apologies, but you can see the rough idea, right? If we added a bit of a feather, maybe, a bit of a feather by increasing softness, as you can see, that's made it much nicer, a lot less harsh. And there we have it. That's how to mask in DaVinci Resolve.